and you have everything needed for the extravagant journey that is your life. The trick is in what one emphasizes. We either make ourselves miserable, or we make ourselves happy. The amount of work is the same. A man of knowledge lives by acting, not by thinking about acting. Nothing in this world is a gift. Whatever must be learned must be learned the hard way. Think about it. What weakens us is feeling offended by the deeds and misdeeds of our fellow men. Our self-importance requires that we spend most of our lives offended by someone. Beware of those who weep with realization, for they have realized nothing. When nothing is for sure, we remain alert, perennially on our toes. It is more exciting not to know which bush the rabbit is hiding behind than to behave as though we knew everything. The secret is not in what you do to yourself but rather in what you don't do. The basic difference between an ordinary man and a warrior is that a warrior takes everything as a challenge while an ordinary man takes everything as a blessing or a curse. Things don't change, only the way you look at them. That was the way human beings are. They love to be told what to do, but they love even more to fight and not do what they are told, and thus they get entangled in hating the one who told them in the first place. We hardly ever realize that we can cut anything out of our lives, anytime, in the blink of an eye. When one has nothing to lose, one becomes courageous. We are timid only when there is something we can still cling to. It is important to do what you don't know how to do. It is important to see your skills as keeping you from learning what is deepest and most mysterious. If you know how to focus, unfocus. If your tendency is to make sense out of chaos, start chaos. If one must succeed in anything, the success must come gently, with a great deal of effort but with no stress or obsession. The aim is to balance the terror of being alive with the wonder of being alive. Will is what can make you succeed when your thoughts tell you that you're defeated. Before you embark on any path ask the question, does this path have a heart? If the answer is no, you will know it, and then you must choose another path. Forget the self and you will fear nothing, in whatever level or awareness you find yourself to be. I want to convince you that you must learn to make every act count, since you are going to be here for only a short while, in fact, too short for witnessing all the marvels of it. Life in itself is sufficient, self-explanatory and complete. Everything in the world is a force, a pull or a push. In order for us to be pushed or pulled we need to be like a sail, like a kite in the wind. But if we have a hole in the middle of our luminosity, the force goes through it and never acts upon us. Man lives only to learn, and if he learns it is because it is the nature of his lot, for good or bad. Fright never injures anyone. What injures the spirit is having someone always on your back, beating you telling you what to do and what not to do. One, must have something to die for in order to have something to live for. In a world where death is the hunter, my friend, there is no time for regrets or doubts. 
there is only time for decisions. It doesn't matter how one was brought up. What determines the way one does anything is personal power. It takes all the time and all the energy we have to conquer the idiocy in us. To be a warrior a man had to be, first of all, and rightfully so, keenly aware of his own death. But to be concerned with death would force any of us to focus on the self and that would be debilitating. Self-importance is man's greatest enemy. I would say that the best of us always comes out when we are against the wall when we feel the sword dangling overhead. When you need an answer, look over your left shoulder and ask your death. A warrior doesn't know remorse for anything he has done, because to isolate one's acts as being mean, or ugly, or evil is to place an unwarranted importance on the self. As long as a man feels that he is the most important thing in the world he cannot really appreciate the world around him. If you don't have a woman for a long time, this always leads to the fact that you stop appreciating your freedom. Your problem is that you think you have time. I'm never angry at anybody. No human being can do anything important enough for that. You get angry at people when you feel that their acts are important. I don't feel that way any longer. Dwelling upon the self too much produces terrible fatigue. A man in that position is deaf and blind to everything else. The fatigue itself makes him cease to see the marvels all around. Man has a dark side, yes, and it is called stupidity. Men have to be hooked. Women don't need that. Women go freely into anything. That's their power and at the same time their drawback. Men have to be led and women have to be contained. There is no beginning, the beginning is only in your thought. Once you decide something put all your petty fears away. Your decision should vanquish them.